you really see me chatting? Yeah. Wow, it's like those those naked little chat rooms that I can't, I'm too cheap to pay for to see if they really work. I remember the day when Michael Alec, like, he actually threw me a birthday party at the limelight. Yes. And it got on the real world, episode number three. And then he showed his butt and they, they, they had to fuzz it out. And for people don't know, this is Janet Charlton of the famed Janet Charlton. And she's got an incredible website. So if you want to gossip with Janet, oh, yeah, Janet gossip. And everybody's going to it. It's great. You know, World of Wonder has you on their links. And it, everyone loves it. That's oh, how I'm, I'm like, so happy. I know. They're, they're walking around like, oh, my God, Janet Charlton. I, I love. <laughs> I need to know what's going on. I can't believe it. It's now, crazy. I, now, Norman, calm down. I have a question. I want to know what you were like in high school. Were you out? Were you in were you prom king? Were you a football player? What were you like in high school? Were you shy? I love that question. Thank you so much. I have two high school experiences, and the first wasn't so good, Janet, sad to say. I was um, I was marginalized, and I was picked on, and I was labeled. I was labeled Chinese. Yeah, but you were cute. No, no, no. You look at these pictures. I'm definitely one of those, like guess who this is now you know it's like the, the, it was like ugly <laughs> betty but worse and i was a, and i was a guy it was really terrible so i looked like this kind of hispanic japanese gay thing just a little celebrity tidbit little uh, Think you can squeeze one out for a me little celebrity tidbit i was once working with my friend jeff bell which is like ring my bell mm. and he hired me to work at this water world premiere party thing for the movie so I was one of the minions running around, running around, and people started to recognize me, and it was kind of like, you know, the heyday of Norm's big celebrityness ah. back in the mid-90s. A famous waiter, huh? Yes, and so all of a sudden, this very tall, gorgeous, blonde girl next to David Spade came up. She's like, you know, did we go to high school? Why do I know you? What's happening? And David Spade rolled his eyes. He's like, that's that guy from the real world. Duh. And she started to giggle and go off. She's like, I love you. We call MTV and get copies every. Oh, my God. Please come meet my boyfriend. Please come meet my boyfriend. And I'm like, you know, and when you're working as one of these jobs as the minion, you're not supposed to talk to the celebrities mingling around you. Uh -huh. Never. You get fired. They And, you know, which happened to me later that night, very sadly. But she drags me off to the circle. And in the middle of the circle is Brad Pitt. I'm like, well, who are you if you're dating Brad Pitt? And all of a sudden, and this was Gwyneth Paltrow. She had only wow. done, like, one movie. And she drags me into the inner circle of Brad Pitt where everybody's trying to get Brad. Brad, Brad, Brad. Brad turns around, and he is overwhelmed. And he's like... I can't believe it. And he just gives me the biggest hug. He's like, it's ah! Norm, it's Norm. They both won't stop. And they're bouncing up and down, going on and on about how they get all these copies of the real world and sped to them before the copies are even shown, before I even see them. <laughs> and they were, he was asking me 100 million questions a second, and he was ignoring everybody. And then after 20 minutes, I got really kind of nervous. And then all the people that I worked for were like, why is he talking to Brad Pitt? And get him away from Brad Pitt, Ooh, and he needs to be fired. You look really good. Thank you. My hair is kind of falling out. You can kind of see it's getting kind of bald up there. I like the gray. But thank you. Yeah, the gray. Where was the building? Broadway and what? It Where was, was Broadway country? and Prince, right across right. the street. And then there was like, the, it was funny because the Guggenheim opened there a little, the year that we were shooting the show, the Guggenheim right. was right across the office. So all the people that employed me were on the same level. So they would look into the building and see everyone running around. They were like, why are you always <laughs> naked? I'm <laughs> Who was the one that you hated on the show? You know, Norm's not a hater. Wave. This is the old. Hello. Sing your mic. Hey, Norm, this is Buck from sunny Oklahoma. How are you today? Buck, how is Oklahoma doing? How are you doing, Buck? I'm from Tulsa. Tulsa, now you know what Tulsa spelled backwards is. A slut. A slut, that's right. Ring my bell, ring my bell, ring, 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 ring my bell. And that's why I'm not on the, the American Idol. <laughs> so nice red shirt you're wearing, by the way. You should take it off. Thank you. I would, but you know, I need a six pack. And uh, um, I was, you know, uh, it's not so good. Jeez, how old are you? Long. Let me guess, okay? Let me guess how old you are. Mm. Um. I don't know, um, you don't look a day older than, I don't know, 28, maybe? Oh, you are good. I'm going to stay on this camera you, all day, <laughs> damn it. Um, Norm is hitting the big 40 this year. Nuh-uh. Yes. Because it all stops at 12, and then Norm goes back to the real world. <laughs> You're talking to Norman, ring my bell. Hey, Pinocchio. What's going on? 
watching you. I'm not on the same delay. I'm on delay here, though. Dude, it's the Marvic. God, it's awesome. What is happening, Captain? So gay on the internet. I could not be more gay. In fact, that is how the internet was formed. Norm came, and then gay it was like chicken and egg, and then all of a sudden, gay. Love ya. Bye. Thanks for calling the Norm. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later?